All right, guys, I uh, want to show you guys how to download, install, and flash the End of Days version 2 ROM by Magnus, the Android 2.3.4 ROM. First thing I recommend doing just so it's easily accessible is make a new folder on your home page on your computer. So if you just right click it, go to new, go to folder, it'll pop up and just name it End of Days or EOD version 2. And that's set up. Now there's going to be three links in the description below. This will be a good time for you guys to pause the video until you have downloaded all of those links completely and moved them into your EOD file. All you have to do is drag and drop it right into here from the downloads when they uh, download below. So we'll get you guys doing that and uh, see you in a bit. We have completely downloaded all three links and we have our EOD V folder. We're going to open it up on our home page and there's our three files. Now we're going to take our phone and we're going to plug it in. Go to disk drive, done, and we will be done with the phone for a few. Shortly you'll see your the root of your SD card pop up on your computer screen. Once that pops up, we're going to drag and drop these files. We're going to open folder to view files. And this is the root of our SD card. So you can take each one of those zips that you just downloaded and just drag and drop them into your root, the root of your SD card. And once this is completed, I'll be back. Okay, now we have actually moved all of the files to the root of our SD card. What I did was just right clicked, just like I did on the home page of my computer. I right clicked on the root of the SD card, I went to new, and I made a new folder, just like we did on the root or on the the home page of our computer. The new folder is EOD V2. If you open it up, you'll see that it's got all of those in the root of your SD card under that file. Now we can unplug our phone and we can close all of this out. Okay. Now that we've got those installed on our phone or on our device, we are going to open the screen. I'm using uh, Launcher Pro here, by the way. This is a really cool theme for it. We're going to press a, press and hold the power button until we get into reboot. We're going to hit reboot, go to recovery, which is the fourth one down. Sorry about the quality. Once again, this is a webcam I'm using. And we're going to press OK. This is the screen you'll see, HTC Evo, 4G. Okay, now we are booted into recovery mode. Um, make sure before you make any changes or any wipes that you go to backup and restore. Just uh, go down to backup, click the power button, backup and it'll automatically back up your, the ROM that you're running. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to Wipe Data Factory Reset. I recommend doing this twice on all three of these that we're going to wipe. I'm not going to do it for the sake of time. We're going to go down to Wipe Cache Partition. And we're going to go to Advanced, assuming that you're using Clockwork Mod Recovery. And we're going to wipe the Dalvik. If you're using Amon Ra, those should all three be in a row. Just wipe all of those. Okay. Now that those are wiped, we're going to go back and we're going to go to install zip from SD card. We're going to choose zip from SD card. Now we have, I have the folder in here that I changed the name to EODV2. 
I'm going to power hit the power button and I'm going to the first one I'm going to flash is the EOD version 2 or V2 dash A3 dot signed zip dash signed zip. Press power. Go yes to install. Okay, now that that's been installed, we're going to go back and we're going to go to reboot system now. This is the multicolored Cyanogen Mod 7 boot animation that you're going to see. And I'll be back once this is booted up. Okay, now that we're booted up, this is the first screen you're going to see. We're just going to go to OK. And we're going to go back and power or boot back into recovery. So go to reboot, recovery, OK. Okay, now that we've booted back into recovery, we're going to go back down to install zip from SD card. Power button. Go to choose zip from SD card. We're going to go back down to our EOD V2 power. And now we're going to go to the EOD V2 3 hybrid slash or dash battery mod dash signed dot zip. We're going to push power. And go to yes, install that. Now that that's been installed, we're going to go back and we are going to reboot system again. I'm going to stick around here so you guys can see this cool new uh, boot image. Or animation. You guys are going to notice that before or until you flash the uh, fix all that you're not going to have a market on the phone. But there are a lot of cool apps in there. Hulu's on here. The uh, Google Talk video chat is on here. 4G, I'm uh, um, through just reading through the XDA forums apparently isn't working yet, but Magnus is working on that, probably as I speak. So that's a cool boot, animated boot. So I'll be back once that uh, has completely booted up. Okay, now we're all booted up, and this is the first look at the EOD V2. I'm going to go ahead. I can show you real quick that you're not going to see a market on here. There's no market, but we've got Hulu and all these themes and all this different stuff. So we're going to go back home. We're going to boot back into recovery. So go to reboot. Go to recovery. Okay. Okay, now that we've booted back into recovery, we're going to go back down to install zip from SD card. Power. Go to choose zip from SD card. We're going to go back down to the EOD V2. Open that up. And we are going to go to the EOD V2 3 fix all signed zip. And we're going to flash that. And you'll see that it's now installing Google Apps. And now we're going to go back and reboot system now. Okay, here we are. We're booted up. Open it up and you'll see that we've got our Google Apps now. I'm just going to go in here. just want to show you guys that uh, we've got our market on here. I'm going to skip all this stuff. You guys are going to want to go ahead and follow through with this. 
but if you go to applications you'll see now that we have our market is right here you can load into that and do all the stuff you gotta do so you can add your Google account and all that good stuff I'm gonna go home and just show you menu settings you'll see let's go down to about phone we've got right here Android version 2.3.4 they're using the stock uh, side or Magnus is using the stock Sanogen kernel like I said I've in reading through the forums there was uh, one guy on there that was having luck with the Savage Zen 2.0 I don't know if it's CFS or or what but he's having uh, pretty good luck with that kernel so if you guys want to flash that and see how that works for you give it a go but this is your end of days version 2 you guys have fun